layers. And we're going to jump to this first layer here, which is our grade mark area. So if I click on this, you can see it brings up my quick marks. I'm sure many of you are already used to uh, using quick marks if you've been using it in the past. This really hasn't changed too much. You still have many different sets that you can choose from. And you can still drag and drop them wherever you want. If you click on them, you can actually assign criterion to a rubric if you use a rubric. By just clicking on that, it brings up the areas of my rubric that I can assign this comment to as criterion. I'll choose introduction, and it will start to tally up every comment that I've added and where I've added it to my rubric. Okay. If you don't like this, you can trash it, and you can also add your own comment in here. You can format, and you can add a link. So on top of the already existing explanation, you can add your own words in there as well. This is our quick mark manager. You might remember in the classic view, it was a wrench. Now it is a gear. If I click on this, it opens up our manager. And Mark walks me through all of my quick marks in this commonly used set. If I wanted to create a new quick mark, I can click the little plus button here. It gives me the ability to create my own quick mark to add to my commonly used set. If I click on this little menu icon up here at the top, you can see I can create a brand new set. If I click on that, I can call it my set two because I already have a my set, and I'm going to go ahead and click save. When I open this back up, you can see I now have a set that I created called my set two. I also have the ability to upload a set. So if you have a colleague that has already created a whole bunch of great quick marks and you want to share them or amongst the uh, department, you can download your set, email it to your colleague, and they can upload it into their quick mark sets. Okay. If you're looking to create your own set, like I've just created my set two down here, now I want to start adding quick marks to my set. I can click on the menu button. I'll click all so it lists out all of our quick marks. You can see it's a very long list. And I can go through these and I can add them if I want to. So great job. I'll click add to set and I want to add it to my set too. So now I've just added that quick mark to my set I just created. And you can go through each of these and you can add them whenever you want to. And it's just that easy. Okay. You also have this question mark up here in the top right. If you click on, it's actually going to take you to turnitin.com to our quick mark manager. If you have any questions about quick marks, how to use them, any of that kind of stuff, this is available to you immediately by just clicking on this little button here. Help button. Any questions about the quick mark manager before I move on? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click close. Brings us back into our uh, feedback studio. So you saw how easy it is to go ahead and add your own quick marks by just dragging and dropping anywhere you want. You also have the ability to just click into the page and you can add a quick mark this way. And it will add that quick mark just where I put it, where, where I clicked into that paper. I can also click in and I can add a comment. I can also add criterion to my rubric. I can again format it. And if I find that I'm really starting to add the same comment over and over and over again, I can easily also convert this to a quick mark. Give it a name. I'm going to add it to my, my set two that I just created and click save. Now I've added a comment, I've added a criterion for my rubric, and I've also turned it into a quick mark that now I can just drag and drop wherever I want to. So as you start to add comments, feel free to go ahead and make them quick marks to make it easier on you down, down the road. Also, if I click in, that last option here is that inline text. So I can actually type right into the paper so the students can actually see it that way as well. I also have the ability to highlight. So if I highlight, 
I can then add a quick mark again. But this time, if I add my quick mark, I can choose my highlight, what color it is. In this case, my originality report is pink, so yellow is probably a good one. Then I can close it out. The nice thing about when you highlight and add a quick mark is you can drag this anywhere you want, and it's going to create a direct line so that the student knows exactly what this comma pertains to. Likewise, if I do that and add, highlight it and choose to add a comment, I can do that, add my comment, and then I can take this over here and it will create a direct line for that comment. Keeping things nice and easy to understand for the students. Then lastly, if I find a sentence that I just don't care for, I can highlight and I can strike through. And then I could add a comment to that as well. Let's let the students know why I, I created a strike through. But that's how easy it is to use quick marks. That's how easy it is to add comments or inline texts or highlights. Any questions about what we just ran through there? Okay, if something comes to mind, feel free to let me know. We can always circle back. So this was our quick marks button here. If we click on the next one, you'll see that you do have the ability to leave up to a three minute voice comment that the student can play on their end when they open up Feedback Studio. And you also have the ability to leave a summative text comment up to 5,000 characters, again, formatable. And you can insert links if you want to.